Welcome in, everyone, to the first episode of the Vegas Insider Golf Betting Show. I'm your host, Sam Wagman, and we're going to start with this week's tournament, the Players' Championship at TPC Sawgrass. It's a, ter- it's a great tournament to start with, as it is typically referred to as the PGA's fifth major, and we usually see every single top player show up in this field. TPC Sawgrass gives every player some trouble as it features water hazards on 17 of the 18 holes, 80 plus bunkers, and weather conditions can never be counted out as wind and rain typically feature heavily. Last year, one of the rounds featured an entire group of players go over par as wind gusts were over 50 miles an hour and the rain forced everyone over par except for Justin Thomas. I want to focus on my first outright play for the week, and I'm going to go with Colin Morikawa, who's sitting at plus $2,500 on BetMGM. He's coming off a missed cut, but he should be highly motivated to contend this week as he gets ready for the Masters. He doesn't have a lot of success here, but course history isn't necessarily correlated with wins in the past as the course plays different year to year based on the weather and the conditions. Colin grades out highly in two of the most important stats in my model this week that are good drives gained and strokes gained approach. He's gained nearly 30 strokes on good drives gained in his last 24 rounds, and he's gained 17 strokes on approach as well during that time. He also ranks out really highly on par fives, and that's a highly correlated stat to success at this tournament. Last year, Cam Smith absolutely dominated the par fives during the tournament, and he also came into the week ranking third in par five scoring. Next up, we're going to go a little bit further down the list with a pick that I view as a little bit of a homer pick, but he's very correlated with course history here, and that's Siwoo Kim who I took at plus 7,000 on FanDuel earlier this week, but is now plus 6,600 over at BetMGM. Siwoo, on the other hand, from Morikawa, has a ton of course history here, as he won this tournament in 2017 at plus 50,000 to 1 odds. He's also specialized on Pete Dye design courses, where he has two of his four career wins, Adding to this, the American Express that he won in 2021. Now, he's coming in with some decent form. He's got three top 25s and a T39 in his last four events. But the only reason he had that T39 last week at Bay Hill was because he had a quadruple bogey nine on Saturday that really turned his round into a struggle and it was his only blemish of the weekend. He would have been inside the top 20 if not for that quadruple bogey. Now four of the past seven players champs are former Sony Open champs and Siwoo has that covered once again because he was the champion of this year's Sony Open. So I'm looking for Siwoo to possibly take home the title once again at the players at the players championship this year. Lastly, I want to hit on my favorite placement pick, and we're going to go with a top 20 this week. This pick is going to be Keegan Bradley at plus 200 on Bet365, and it's one of my favorite picks this week. One of the stats that I was looking at is that there are only three players who have not missed the cut in any of their previous three appearances and have over 15 strokes gained total at this event in the last five years. Those players are Corey Connors, Justin Thomas, and Keegan Bradley himself, who actually tops the list at 30.56 total strokes gained across his last five appearances here. In his past four appearances here, Keegan's finished T5, T29, T16, and T7. He loves the Players' Championship. It's a very comfortable course for him, and you really can't say that much about many players. He's also on a nice recent string with three top 20s or better in his last four tournaments. Good luck out there this week. 